Hi students, I am Father Johnson of New Catholic Mission School, Jagua. Today, we are going to learn another poem from the book Flamingo of class 12th for the subject English Core. And the name of the poem is Aunt Jennifer's Tigers by Adrian Rich. Now, before we discuss about the poem, let us try to see something about the poet. Adrian Cecil Rich, who lived between the year 1929 to 2012, she was an American poet, she was an essayist and a feminist. One of the most widely read and influenced poets of the second half of the 20th century she is. She talks about a woman's experiences in her married life. She has tried to explore the inner feelings of a woman who is living under the dominance of men. So basically she being a feminist, she has, in her writings, she has tried to discuss about the pangs and the plight and the pain that married women go through in the married life. That is the main, one of her main uh, theme of her writings. <coughs> now let us also try to understand the synopsis of the poem before we discuss about the poem verse by verse. The poet is a feminist and she, is, and she addresses the difficulties of a married woman through the person of her aunt Jennifer. So this person, Aunt Jennifer, is the one uh, who, who is being discussed in this poem. What pain she is going through in her married life. The aunt spends a good deal of time in embroidering a panel of tigers prancing across the screen. The tigers are the fearless creatures pacing elegantly and majestically. They are not afraid of the men standing under the tree, unlike the Aunt Jennifer, whose every moment is governed by the fear of her husband. The words bright topest denizens evoke an image of toughness and majesty where they are the masters of their destiny. They represent the spirit of freedom and confidence that is earned for by Aunt Jennifer but is unable to attain due to the constraints of her marriage and her overpowering fear of her husband. Aunt is a victim of male chauvinism and domination. In the second stanza, she is pictured as doing needlepoint. But Aunt Jennifer is so oppressed and terrified that she finds it hard to pull the needle. The massive weight of uncle's wedding band expresses how victimized and oppressed she is. Her inability to do something that she is supposed to enjoy reflects her powerlessness to express herself in a male dominated society. She is denied even the chance to do freely even a task which she is supposed to enjoy. Switching the tigers is a means of self-expression for her where she creates creatures which are a representation of her inner self. She spends her life in fear but she embroiders on the panel that fearless tigers to express her secret longing for life of freedom and confidence. In the last stanza, the poet comments that the fear of her husband will haunt Aunt Jennifer even in her death. Even her death does not end the problem and torture which a mad woman experiences. She has lost her identity through her marriage. But the tigers she created would outlive her and would go on prancing, proud and unafraid. The deliberate use of only the title in the last stanza reiterates the poet's lack of respect for her aunt and seems to be a warning to women in general to never surrender yourself, your identity to anyone. Now this is the analysis. Now the, basically, the poem, in this poem, the poet is trying to discuss what this lady by name Aunt Jennifer, she is representing so many women uh, who is going through a lot of suppression, a lot of domination in the married life by the husbands and she is only a symbolical representation of all these women who have been suppressed in the married life. So that is the basic uh, theme of this poem. Now let us try to discuss the poem verse by verse. <coughs> first stanza, first four stanzas. <coughs> the first stanza, let us see, Aunt Jennifer's tigers prance across the screen, bright topest denizens of a world of green. They do not fear the men beneath the tree. They pace in sleek, chivalric certainty. 
Now, <coughs> before you go to discuss the point, let us try to understand the meaning of some of the difficult words which I have highlighted. Now, what is the meaning of prince? Prince means jump. Top is a precious yellow gem. Denizens, inhabitants, people who live. Pace, walk about, go about. Sleek, elegant. Chivalric, dignified. Certainty, confidence. Now, on Jennifer's tiger sprains across the screen. So, she has embroidered the image of a tiger on the screen, uh, which is always, it's not sleeping or it is not just uh, lying down, it is prancing. The look of the lion is always ready to jump. Let us discuss. <clears throat> the poet is talking about a lady whom she addresses as Aunt Jennifer. So, the main person who is being discussed in this poem is Aunt Jennifer. And she is embroidering a piece of cloth. It could be a tablecloth or a wall hanging. So, she is always busy embroidering the image of a tiger on certain uh, clothes, certain piece of clothes. The pattern shows tigers who are moving and jumping around all over the fabric. Now, the, as I said, the tigers are not simply lying down idle. The image of the tiger which she is embroidering, which she is creating, is always is such that it is ready to jump, ready to uh, prance. So, it is uh, trying to show its aggression. So, they are bright yellow in color like the color of the topaz stone. So, again, this uh, tiger, they are very, very yellowish in color. They are uh, compared to, it is another uh, metaphor, we will we'll see all the uh, poetic devices later. Let us try to understand. These uh, tigers which she is embroidering, they are looking yellowish in color. They are very yellow. Uh, the dense green forest background is their home. Again, this, the, the place where they live, where the tigers live is a dense forest, it's thick forest, green forest. Again, that is a symbolical representation of freedom. They are the proud and fearless citizens of the forest. So, these tigers, they are always unafraid. They are freely roaming around, fearless, never uh, frightened of anybody. And they are very proud, self-confident. Here is a contrast between Aunt Jennifer and her tigers. On the one hand, Aunt Jennifer, she is frightened. Why? She is always living in fear, in a state of fear because of her husband. She feels suffocated. She feels suppressed by her husband. But on the other hand, the images of the tigers which she is embroidering, they are altogether different. There is a total contrast between the aunt as well as the image of tiger that tigers are the rep representation of her inner self. On the one hand, aunt is uh, frightened. She has no freedom. She lacks confidence. On the other hand, the tigers, they are free. They are elegant. They are very ready to attack. They are always in a mood of aggression. The tigers are fearless, but this lady who is embroidering them is too is not. On the one hand, the tigers are fearless. They are unafraid. But this lady is always, Aunt Jennifer, is always afraid of her husband. The tigers look elegant, shining and full of the gentleman's grace. So, these tigers, they are looking very, very elegant, very graceful. There is so much of uh, uh, swiftness in their movement. But on the other hand, this lady is always living in a state of fear. Second stanza, let us see. Let us see. <coughs> Aunt Jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool find even the ivory needle hard to pull. The massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. Now, there are certain difficult words. Fluttering, it means trembling, shivering. Massive, it is very, very uh, uh, too much, unbearable. So, let us try to understand the explanation of these verses. The lady's fingers are trembling with fear of her husband. So, she, since she lives always in a state of fear, her hand is always shivering. She is always living in a, a state of fear. She is pursuing her hobby in her free time, but probably she is still afraid of her husband who could scold her. She is trying to spend her time uh, in a... She has developed the hobby of embroidering. And that embroidering is always expression of her inner self, which she is not able to express uh, in front of her husband. 
and she is probably frightened of her husband. Her fingers are so tired of working endlessly all her life. Her, why, her, why her fingers are fluttering, shivering? Because she is tired of working as well as she is frightened of her husband. The needle is so heavy for her to pull out of the cloth. Now the needle is very 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 light but the poet has exaggerated as if the needle is so such a heavy thing that she finds even difficult to pull the needle as if the needle is very very heavy. The words uncle's wedding band as the band was brought by her husband uh, it, is his, it is his till today. The wedding band which was given to her on her wedding day it is the poet has used it is very heavy and it is it is given by the uncle and it is she is in a way has become the property of her husband she is not able to maintain her own identity the lady is dependent on her own on her husband she is still burdened by the wedding uh, by the weight of the ring weight means the en encirclement or trapping that has fallen upon her by great by getting married to him she has been burdened by the obligations of married life has become the man's property now you see the uh, exaggeration the wedding band which is symbolical representation of the the union between husband and wife which is uh, which is worn on the day of wedding that is very very light but the, the author has used it he has exaggerated so much as if the wedding uh, the wedding ring is so heavy that she is not able to carry it and she feels she is her own she is not her own but she is the property of her husband she has been living in a demanding life due to which she has won she has worn out in her old age so the life has been so demanding to her that she is not able to live her life as she wanted and she feels tired worn out when aunt is dead her terrified hands will lie still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by the tigers in her, the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid see there now terrified terrified means frightened ordeals ordeals means hard labor hard work that one does mastered controlled so let us try to understand the verses <clears throat> her wish is to live a free fearless life is indicated by her choice of design ti tigers now tigers they are animals which are unafraid fearless they are elegant they are very uh, aggressive they are not frightened they are freely they move around so why she has chosen to employ the image of a tiger she wants to express her inner self on the one hand she is afraid she is controlled but she she doesn't want to be afraid she doesn't want to be she doesn't want to feel controlled she doesn't want to be uh, controlled by somebody else and that is why she is making the image of tigers which are expression of her own inner uh, unfulfilled desires it shows her innermost desire of being strong fearless which has been overpowered by her husband now she feels uh, she feels lonely suffocated controlled uh, um, she feels she is being put down by somebody else but she is drawing the image of the tigers which are very very strong fearless in fact she wants to be fearless she wants to be free she wants to be she doesn't want to be overpowered <clears throat> but the fact is that she is not able to live the life of her choice probably her ordeals will end upon her death the hard labor that she had been doing all her life will only end only when she dies till her death she has to go through this uh, hard labor of uh, managing her family being controlled by her husband her frightened shaking fingers will be put to rest so the shivering that she is she has on her body will come to an end only with the death but still even after death the ring shall remain on her hand which means her husband's rule over her is not yet over so even after her death the ring which has become so burdensome which is very heavy uh, in exaggeration even after death she is she is going to be always her husband's property not her own why the ring that she wears on her finger is a is an expression of uh, her identity being lost after her death her desire of freedom and fearlessness shall remain alive in these tigers which she has embroidered so she may die 
with her death the hard labor that she had done all her life will come to an end the shivering the fear that she had may come to an end but her self expression of being wanting to be free wanting to live a life of fearlessness wanting to live a life of freedom will always remain uh, constant with these images of tigers being embroidered now let us try to understand the poetic devices of this poem now rhyme scheme let us try to understand the rhyme scheme see there <coughs> screen green tree certainty so screen green a tree certainty is b will pull band hand c c d d lie by maid and afraid so e e f f so that is a rhyme scheme a a b b c c d d e e f f that is the rhyme scheme now let us try to understand some of the figures of speech the poet has used now she has also used the word uh, she has used anaphora see there use of same word in two uh, consecutive lines they do not and they pace in what is an anaphora as i said earlier in the lesson anaphora is a repetition of the same word so they they so this is a repetition of the same word in order to emphasize give emphasis so that is an anaphora there is a metaphor use of metaphor use of topos to describe the yellow color of tigers so topos is a uh, yellow uh, gem which has been compared to tigers so that is why it's a metaphor metaphor is indirect comparison these tigers have been compared to topos now alliteration what is alliteration alliteration of alliteration means repetition of the same a uh, letter followed by two words now now you see here fingers fluttering word the the letter f has been repeated continuously in the both the letters co consecutively finger fluttering f f p again uh, it is being repeated as here prancing proud p p so the letter letters f and p they have been used in two consecutive words finger fluttering prancing proud that's what it's called alliteration now hyperbole let us see what is this hyperbole it is exaggeration it is hyperbole means it is an exaggeration massive weight of uncle's wedding band it is the ring that is given on the wedding day it is so light but the author has used massive weight as if it is so uh, heavy so it is an exaggeration and jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool find even their ivory needle hard to pull again another uh, instance of example for exaggeration the needle is so light but because she is so frightened her fingers are uh, fluttering shivering and that's the reason she feels that the uh, the needle is so heavy again it's an exaggeration that's why these two examples uh, massive weight of uncle's wedding and uh, fingers fluttering these are all Uh, exaggeration for hyperbole exaggeration transfer epithet her terrified hands again it is an example for tra transfer epithet now paradox meek and submissive aunt jennifer creating the confident and sleek tigers what is paradox expressing something which is totally uh, contradictory now aunt jennifer she is afraid not free frightened she has no she cannot make decision of her own but on the other hand the images of the tiger which is fearless free totally on its own master these two image image of ant and image of tiger they are all totally contradictory that is why it is an example for paradox now metonym it means what is the meaning of metonym it means you try to uh, it's a substitution of name to attribute something to some some image now wedding band symbolic of married life now wedding band is an example for metonym because this is uh, it is a kind of uh, it is attributing something which the author wants to express it is a substitution of a kind of attribute that is why it is metonym now let us try to understand the images of contrast topaz green yellow 
and green in color art and artist art is the art of the tiger and art is aunt um, jennifer so the art of tiger is very very confident fearless free but the artist the aunt is very very uh, she is uh, frightened uh, not free she is not her own master aunt jennifer and tiger again is a contrast prancing and fluttering prancing on the one hand with full of animation with full of uh, action but fluttering is full of uh, shivering so these are the images of contrast so okay students i hope you have enjoyed this uh, lesson and uh, you can refer back to the notes that has been provided with thank you so much